hey we're here to replace the oil pump in the rabbit okay these are very expensive pumps at $85 for the pump uh, very expensive pump priming them you're gonna want engine assembly loop I'm gonna show you that in a little bit I got a Malay filter uh, we are also still gonna be running the zinc braking additive because technically I have not put a thousand miles on this motor yet after the re-ring so now if you're going to do this job I highly recommend folks you get a set of swivel sockets you can do it without them but you're gonna be fighting for a lot longer with a standard standard socket with swivel and here's why this is a standard 10 millimeter quarter inch drive socket on a swivel now you can see the difference right away in the height that little bit of room you don't have oh you can try and get this to work I highly recommend you get this so there's 20 bolts that hold on the oil pan onto the block so keep that in mind you're gonna want a socket set a set of wrenches because you're gonna want to take if if you're working on the 16 diesels like mine you're gonna want to pull your vacuum pump or your oil pump drive just so that when you get, and I'll show you why later but it has to do with getting the pump actually mounted into the engine so so I've already drained the oil out of the block if if you need me to show you how to do that then this job probably is not for you okay so let's get to the actual nitty-gritty folks now the bolts I'm talking about are those ones way up in there let me see if I can get a flashlight <laughs> that one there and let's see and that one there that I've already taken out now I've got two bolts holding the entire pan on so let me see if I can prop you folks up what? And... Come on, folks. Let me see if I can prop you up. No, I cannot. Okay, then we'll just have to turn the screen. And there. I hope you folks can see. I got this one handed. Uh, 
Okay, folks. Where the heck did I put that? Ah. Right there. Okay. So, we pull that bolt and that bolt out, and the whole thing should drop. So, come on. Now, like I said, I've already drained the oil out of the block. And yes, we are going to be doing an oil change. And one last bolt. We should have the pan down. Now, as you can see folks, this is our oil pump, right in here. We're going to take the gasket off, reusable gasket by the way. These two bolts are the ones that actually hold the pump into the block. So, keep that in mind. So, we need to find out what size these are. 13? 13. Okay. Come on. You can see me working. Okay. So, 13 millimeter socket should pull these bolts. Now, these should be just standard threaded bolts. Now, these bolts are actually not held in that tight. Uh, the service manual gives you 15 foot pounds. 15, that's it. Realistically, they probably should have put the measurement in inch pounds. And I'm going to tell you this much if you are going to torque this to specifications, do not use a half inch drive torque wrench. Because 
in my experience, I have found that they are not accurate after 30 foot pounds on the low end. Okay, and don't forget those little freaking washers. Now, this should slide down. Alrighty. And might dissect this pump here if, uh, if we get a chance to. We'll maybe dissect this pump and find out what the heck went wrong with it. Something tells me that it's just a wear issue. That this pump uh, just plumb more out. So, I mean, this pump is the original WWO pump from Volkswagen, so. Now, let's go and we're gonna prep the new pump. Now prepping the new pump. Let me grab a rag here, folks. Now prepping the new pump. Why are we shoving molly lube into it? Well, it gives it a good prime. And hopefully that's all this thing needs. Hopefully it does not need a new set of main bearings. Yeah, these pumps, they don't have any shims to them that you can shim them up with. There's no real way of refurbishing these pumps. Uh, in the service manual, they tell you to just replace the entire pump if you've got problems. Now, that little hole in there. I don't know if folks can see it, but that little hole in there, that's where we're going to inject the engine assembly loop. Now, I've already cut this open. That's the hole. I'm going to put that there. And I'm actually going to spin this pump. backwards and I'm also gonna <laughs> and I'm just gonna fill this you know I, I, I'm gonna be liberal with this I I am not gonna want this pump to die especially since Realistically, folks, these pumps are freaking expensive. So, now, when we go to put the pump back in, the vacuum pump 
I'm also going to take and I'm going to lube that gear. And I'll show you the, what, what I'm going to lube here in case we run out of film. We're going to lube this. Why? Because this is what meshes with your intermediary shaft and I don't feel like uh, replacing intermediate shaft in a, in a motor that's 40 years old 81? Yeah, 40 years old Happy birthday! Yay! And I'm gonna put it right where this plugs into here so I'm going to fill that up and I'm going to put a nice dollop around and the big reason why you want to do this like I said is to prevent dry fire ups so I'm, and I'm sorry, but for I think the eleven dollars that you're going to spend on a tube of this, it's well worth it. I'll really get it into that gear. Yes, this is a messy, dirty job. Don't think that you're not going to come out of this clean. So no suit and tie wearing today folks <laughs> dirty hands clean soul put that back where I had it get you set up back down there and we're gonna put the pump in because uh, before I go down there 15 foot pounds or 20 newton meters we're gonna use the newton meter scale because I have that on this torque wrench so this is a digital torque wrench and one thing I do not like about this torque wrench is that it loves to beep at you early. That is my one biggest complaint. So, fifteen foot pounds or twenty newton meters. We're gonna. One in meters. Okay. Now, realistically, I should back this down to 10 newton meters to torque it one step and then the second step. So, and you know what? That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it that way so that we can ensure that the pump is going to seat up against the block correctly. Fine folks, just sit right there. I'm going to grab the pump. This hole right here is the hole that the shaft goes through. Do not force it through this hole. This hole right here is where the oil feed goes in. So, ooh, alrighty. Up 
these nice fang bolts. And the pump, the pickup tube is already casting. Like I said, there's no shims, there's no gaskets. So. Okay. Hold it up in there and get the first bolt with a couple threads at least. Like I said, these pumps are not that cheap at at $85 a pump, so I am not gonna take that many chances with them. So Turn the torque wrench on. We got the torque wrench set to 10 newton meters. Twelve five. Ten six. Now I'm gonna go straight to twenty newton meters here. Nineteen nine. Nineteen six. We're going to check it again. Twenty one seven. Nineteen eight. Now, at this point. The pump is in, it's installed, now, other than doing the lining up everything and all that, and to make this video a bit shorter, I'm just going to take you upstairs and show you the pump the vacuum pump and how it's meshing with this pump so <laughs> shaft coming up that is the new oil pump there is a piece well you can't see it now that uh, meshes with that and uh, folks this is where taking this pump out is your better option because okay now I this is where the finesse comes in on that pump. Now, it's supposed to seat all the way down. If you can get your fingernail in there, it's not fully seated.
now you got two options here you can either reach down in there and move the pump by hand yourself or you can blip the starter I might just blip this. Well, right there. Got it to go in. Now, since this is just a pump, you don't have to worry about uh, clocking it in a certain direction. Just hook up your hoses. As long as the hoses work, you're fine. Now, they also said 15 foot-pounds of torque for the mount, the mounting of that. But, uh, like I said, this pump needs to sit down past if it's not it's not fully seated so let me put you up on the tripod and we'll talk about this so <clears throat> I hope you folks learned something uh, hopefully this helps you out in your endeavors it's not that hard of a pump to put in, it's just time consuming. So, uh, I would say if you've never ripped into this motor before, I would dedicate at least four hours to doing it from start to finish. So, thanks for watching. Please keep uh, subscribing. We're getting bigger every day. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Yay! See you on the next one.